Hey guys, welcome to the fourth Silk Plus tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at uh, reducers, which lets you um, it lets you do lock-free programming. So basically, when you have a data race in your application, instead of using mutexes and locks, um, you can just specify a reducer, and you'll be able to do your parallel programming without locks. Um, so let's just dive in and go to the tutorial, um, go to reducers. And so what these guys are doing is a little bit of a more complicated example. So instead we're going to go ahead and do the, we're going to do our uh, Fibonacci example right here, which is a little bit easier to understand and it just goes over the basics for you. So um, first what we're going to do is we're going to want to go over to our project again and just uh, clean things up a little bit. So let's get rid of our do work. Let's get rid of this here. Parallel test. So we're still going to still going to want to keep our uh, timers are for comparing between parallel and serial here. Um, up here we're going to want to do our uh, fib again, but this time we're going to calculate the sum of the Fibonacci numbers. So we're going to want to make a, a function that returns an integer and takes in the number of Fibonacci that we want. So their example is right here. Oh wait, my bad, never mind. We're actually just going to be adding to the sum through pointing to it instead of returning the sum. So change this back to void. Copy paste. Back here. Okay, so basically we are doing the same stuff. So except we're going to have a reducer. So the way that this works is that it's like, for example, if you just had int sum equals zero, and then you just added the sum in here, and you did this in parallel, you would have a data race. And that means that your result that will be in sum, what, once you're done running this for whatever your n is, if you're doing this in parallel, it's going to give you an inaccurate result. Sometimes it might be um, correct, but most of the time it's not going to be correct. So what you're going to want to do is use a reducer, um, which will allow you to avoid doing mutexes and locks and everything so that you can keep your code nice and clean. Um, because the way around this, without reducers, the way around this is you would you would have a lock and it would be like some mutex and then that would be a blocking call which will wait until another thread is done adding to the sum for this guy to add the sum so that basically it gives you a lot of overhead and it kind of makes your parallel code inefficient if you have to use locks so what reducers um, what their purpose is, is to allow you to do lock-free programming and it still does it in a nice and quick fashion. So we're going to specify a reducer and basically it's the same concept of um, of having an integer and you initialize it to zero. So you could make this a double, you could basically make it any primitive value type that you can add things. Uh, so we're just going to keep it as an int and we're going to start it off as zero. Then this guy is going to be fib sum. And then that's pretty much it. And at the end, at, once you're done doing this, um, I'm going to go, I think the example before you used something like 39. So our parallel test is going to be fib n, 
and then we're going to want to grab the value of our sum. Now, the different types of reducers that you can use, there's op add, which allows you to add things, so that's why we're doing a sum. But if you go over to the Silk tutorial, you're also going to have append, prepend for lists. You can get the minimum or the maximum value or index for a set of values. Um, there's a bitwise operations, string operations, and there's file stream operations. These are a little bit more complicated, so that's why we're just going to go with op add right now. Um, you can actually write your own reducers, um, but that requires a little bit more how to and need to be able to know what you're doing in order to do that so you could pretty much write an op subtract reducer or an op multiply reducer and it'll allow you to again do the same lock free programming um, that you normally would do with the built-in reducers so we're gonna go ahead and find somewhere in here where you're getting the value of it. We go over to the example file it gives us. Um, it's using... We also have to include in our project op add here. Op add. I think it's op add. Let's just check. User op add. There we go. Back. We're just going to go ahead and uh, pause the video and just look for the result call. One second. Hey again, sorry about that. I just had to find uh, what the call was. So basically, if you click on reduce or op add over here and scroll down, if you want to get the value of the sum after you do the calling, you just go uh, get value. So let's go copy that, go back to our project here. So when we're doing the fib n, We'll just, um, when we print the results, we're going to go calculated. I'm going to go here. And our reducer is called fibsum, so we're going to go fibsum.getValue. And that's going to allow us to get the sum after we, we're done running all of our code. Um, so there we go. Now let's do this. We actually don't need to, we don't really need to do a serial test. We just want to make sure, we just want to see and make sure that it works, basically. So go ahead and run that. You'll notice that our threads are all going at 100%, or our, our CPUs. And there we go. So calculated that Fibonacci sum in 2.3 seconds.